Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know that I haven't talked to you in a while. I mean, I've been posting videos, but I haven't talked to you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean. I just don't know how to explain it. So today I'm gonna do a Snapchat Q&A. And I have all the snaps in here. So I haven't read them, honestly. And I'm just gonna read them right now so I can use answer each of them i have them here i don't know if you can see them but I have so just let's get started okay let's go with gloria cabana <laughs> cuánto tiempo llevas en estados unidos y cómo ha sido tu experiencia como open i have been here for one year and two months and a half i think or almost three months yes i have had an experience really good so far i've been through good moments bad moments everything um i don't know i can just say i have, I have a, such a good family like i mean a host family that treats me really good so that makes the experience to be better that's all i can say i guess <laughs> sofia gomez whoa this is a long one let's let's see primero que todo gracias por cada video you're welcome de nada Um, ¿Crees mejor aplazar semestre o terminar la carrera al ser au pair? Um, honestly, I took a time. Like, I haven't finished my career. I haven't get a degree. I don't know. I think it, it depends of every one of you. I mean, I honestly feel like right now I should be studying and I feel like kind of empty. I feel something on me like it's not okay because I'm not studying. But, I mean, I'm still young. I'm 21, almost 22. <laughs> And I'm gonna have time to study, so I think it depends on you if you wanna come and be an helper and just make your study to wait or just finish your studies and then come as an helper. I mean, as long as you are under 26, you can be an helper, so no problem. ¿Cuál es la mejor época para irse como helper? Honestly? I really don't know. I mean, I think that doesn't have anything to do with your life as an helper. So I think that you can come any day, any month of the year. It doesn't matter. ¿Qué va a pasar con tu relación después de que termine tu segundo año como au pair? Honestly, I have no idea. My boyfriend and I, we have been just trying to live the moment, trying to live the present. Hopefully, we're gonna be together if we have to, and if we don't have to be together, well, we don't have to be together. I, I just don't want, I don't want to plan ahead something, and then it doesn't happen. I have no idea. <laughs> ¿Aconsejarías a alguien irse de au pair? If I recommend to be an au pair, yes. Honestly, yes. I mean, you're gonna get some experience that you're not gonna get back in your country, like at home. So definitely, yes. Every single opera has like different experience. So I cannot tell you that you're gonna have the same experience that I am, I am having. But it, it is worth it. So yes, honestly, yes. You should come as an opera. Tips para ser parte de la familia. I feel like it is on the family and on you to create a relationship like whole family and oper and i mean if you do everything okay i think that they are gonna appreciate that and they're gonna start looking at you as another member of the family i'm gonna be honest some families are not gonna look at you as another member of the family they're just gonna look at you like the oper or like the nanny or like whatever so you really have to be careful when you choose your family when you say yes to be an oper so. uh. ¿Cómo es tu dieta siendo au pair? I don't have any diet. I eat whatever I want. Obviously, I take care. Like, I, I don't eat a lot of fast food. But that's it. En tu opinión, ¿cuál es el mejor estado para ser au pair? Oh. I feel like I cannot answer that. Because I haven't been an au pair in every single state. But I love California. So, I can say this one is the best one. <laughs> Senia, Signia, I think it is. ¿Cómo y por qué decidiste ser au pair? Um, I think that I'm gonna save this answer for another video, so just keep waiting for that because it's a long story, so I'm gonna say it, but not now. But yes, I was having problems back home and I decided to get out of the city and this was my 
better option. So here I am, Emma. ¿Cómo conociste a tu novio? I met him at his place, at his apartment. Uh, he was throwing a party with another friends of mine. So we met there and that's how it started. How long did it take for you to feel a part of the oh part of the family? Honestly, as I already said, my whole family it is great. They are just awesome for me and they made me feel part of the family since the beginning like since the first day I came here so I am really blessed this is Stephanie <laughs> I miss her so much I miss you too I hope that you're watching this video and I send you a lot of love of kisses I miss you I really miss you do you want to go back home sometimes Yes, sometimes I want to go back home, but I'm here. Have you liked kids before you started over program? Yes, I used to take care of kids, so yes. Do you love your kids? I love them, like, you have no idea. They make me feel good, even though sometimes I get crazy. Tilda, do you think it was awkward in the beginning when you met your host family? Okay, it wasn't awkward with my family, I already said that they were also at the beginning they treat me as a member of the family I mean I felt weird yes but the fact that they treated me since beginning as a member of the family uh, made me feel um, less uncomfortable I guess Monica Gonzalez ¿Por qué empresa te fuiste de Oper y cuánto tiempo duraste en contra familia? My agency is APW Oper World. I had a couple of inter in interviews, so it took me like eight months to find a family. Are you gonna say in the US, love your videos, Lucy? Thank you. Um, I don't know yet. I mean, I will have to do a couple of stuff with my uh, documents and to stay here legal, but um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Blue Lechetti, Lechetti, I think that's how it's pronounced. How many host kits do you have? I have three host kits. Hola, Aranza. <laughs> Hi, Aranza. It is actually really good. I mean, I trust them. I feel like my relationship with my host mom, it is even better. Hi, babe. What's up? I'm driving home. What? I'm driving home. Good. I'm recording a yeah. video. You want to say hi? I did who? Um, YouTube people because I was recording a video. Oh, that's awkward. Hi, YouTube people. I am sorry. He was Brooks, my boyfriend. How are you so beautiful? I have no idea. Thank you for that too. I think that those were all the questions. And I uh, will thank you so much for everything. I was kind of nervous because I was like, I didn't know how to do this um, Snapchat q and I mean, I didn't know how to, but I was scared that nobody was gonna ask me anything. Overthinking about it, but thank you so much everybody that uh, send me your snapchat really appreciate that you took your time to just ask me whatever you want thank you to all the subscribers I already hit 1,000 subscribers that's insane uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribing yet and if you are just keep waiting for more videos um, you know that you can find me in all my social media and uh, I'm gonna link that down below in the description box let me know also in the comments below what do you want me to record next well, and I guess that I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you.